Hi, welcome to Mutiny version 0.20.0. If you're seeing this welcome screen, it's because we have a major change, and this major change impacts how you use your Mutiny product. With this particular version, 0.20.0, we're no longer using assistive screen reading technology in order to interact with Microsoft Teams. If you're not a Microsoft Teams user, you can go ahead and skip the video and continue like normal. But if you are a Microsoft Teams user, you need to understand that the way we interact with Teams has changed, and there's one additional step in order for you to be able to use your MuteMe device just as you did before. First, let's go ahead and open up your MuteMe app. Once you open up your MuteMe app, go ahead and click on App Sync Settings. Once you're here, make sure Teams is turned up to level 3, if it's not done so already. You're going to get this pop-up. This pop-up is basically telling you that there's an additional configuration step that's required. And if you click show me how, it would open it up in the browser. For now, we can just go ahead and click OK. There's also the same link is available here if you click here. And I'll go ahead and click on it just for demonstration purposes. It's the configurations and instructions are here. Once this is done, you can go ahead and close out of your Mute Me app or you can minimize everything and open up Microsoft Teams. Once you have Microsoft Teams opened, next to your icon here at the very top, there's three little dots. It's a settings and more menu. Go ahead and click on that. Then click on settings. Then click on privacy. Then scroll down and find manage API. Go ahead and turn on the Teams API. Now you have done everything you need to do in order for Mute Me to work. But now we're going to go and do a test meeting. And you should do this too, because the very first time you use Mute Me, it's going to ask for these additional permissions. I'm going to go ahead and meet now. Start a meeting. Join now. And there it is. There's a new connection request for Mute Me. Go ahead and allow. And that's it. Now Mute Me is configured just like it was before. And you can use it to mute and unmute your microphone in both directions. There you go. All done. Thank you.